So we're on the show floor of Fuse24 in Dublin. I'm here with Andy Penley. He's the Group CTO at Bolden Networks. Andy, thanks very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So the, the name has been there for a while, but just remind us what Bolden Networks is and maybe what it was. Yeah, yeah, you might know us by many, many names from the past, but about uh, two years ago now, uh, well, one year ago now, we brought the companies together and we rebranded as Bolden. Uh, we're a neutral host company, one of the world's leading neutral host providers and private network operators. So, as I mentioned, we're here in Dublin, we're at Fuse. What, what brings you to this event? Why are you here? So, Bolden is a member of the Telecom Infrastructure Project. I serve as a co-chair on the Neutral Host Infrastructure Sharing Group. Um, we have formed a partnership within that group with City Telecom Association. Okay. We're developing a playbook that will help cities understand what a neutral host is, how to, and, and how they can help them reach their connectivity aspirations for their constituents. Okay. And have you been talking about that here with some of the city representatives as well? Yeah, we were on a we were on a, the CTA's panel yesterday uh, with with uh, leaders from Madrid, uh, The Hague, uh, other cities, uh, uh, London, uh, really digging into what their challenges are. We want to make sure when we develop this playbook, it meets the needs. It's a it's a real um, it's a usable tool for them. Uh, okay. And now, one of the other sort of main themes here at, at, at this event, and for TIP as well, is, is Open RAN. Is an Open RAN architecture suitable for uh, neutral host networks? Is this something that's, um, that's sort of applicable? Yes, yeah, absolutely. So we have, we actually have a neutral host Open RAN production network today uh, in the UK, Ireland market. Um, we, we have two MNOs that are signed on. Uh, it's, it's, we, you know, it's a CAS, uh, connectivity as a service. Uh, we're big believers and big investors in the, the future development of Open RAN and to continue along that model. Okay, and just remind us where that is in the UK, is up in the north? Is it's it? up in the north, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In Sunderland, is yeah. it? Yes, yeah, so. okay, all right. And, uh, and, and how's that going? What are you learning from that deployment? We're learning a lot. Um, you know, I, I'm a, I started my career in the U.S. Uh, and I, you know when CBRS sort of rolled out uh, in 2015, they they sort of made it available. And then 2020, I think was um, initial commercial deployments, and we were doing a lot of testing. And what we found was the kits were still sort of in beta, right? So we're we're finding the same. I wouldn't call it beta, but where there's challenges around the software development for the kits, uh, controls, things like that. So we're, we're we're sort of working through it with with the manufacturers. Okay. And what particularly is it about an open RAN architecture, that disaggregated architecture, that's particularly suitable for neutral host? Is, is, are there particular attributes? Yeah, absolutely. One is um, obviously the, the open, right? So we can use any manufacturers we want. It cuts a lot of costs. We, I think we save probably 60 to 65% uh, for power in operating these networks. We can deploy them much faster uh, than a traditional end-to-end -end network. Interesting. Um, so there's obviously still a lot of work. I mean, we've been hearing that across the board. Open round's not new, but there's still a lot of work to do. What would you like to see from the Open RAN community, the companies that are here talking about, you know, how great their technology is and how everything's so much more mature? From your perspective, what, what do you want to hear from these people? There's still challenges with interoperability. You know, we, we go to an Open RAN uh, supplier and they say, yeah, it's, it's open RAN, but you have to use a Dell server. Or, you know, um, we, we can't, we, we struggle with interoperability between the RU and DU and CU uh, if they're different, right? right? So we still have problems with interoperability. I would say uh, network management systems, we're still working through that. I know at Bolden, we're highly focused on uh, a self-developed network management system. We're doing a lot of, uh, developing a lot of data analytics and um, real visibility for our customers. Uh, so, but th we still got some work to do on the software side. Okay, all right. Well, I'm, I'm sure people will be paying attention to that and I'm sure you'll get some communication about that as well. So Andy, thanks very much for joining us today. Good to talk. Thank you, Ray.